Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 734. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link directly below the video and then you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 733 to 735. And this trick, this comes from Alan Walton at Highline Community College. He's uh, doing grades and when he downloads from the website, he gets 10 point quizzes in decimal form and he really would like to show this as 5.8. We're going to see two tricks here. The first trick is a great one. Uh, we want this to say 5.8, this one to say 9.3. We can use copy and paste special operations multiply for this. So notice this is a decimal that represents um, the proportion correct out of 10 points. So I'm simply going to put 10 here in a cell, copy, make sure the dancing ants are jumping around, highlight the whole range, right click, paste special, there's, uh, you can use your ribbon if you want, but this works in all versions, right click, paste special, and there's operation, multiply. So what it's going to do is it's going to take 10 and multiply it by all of this, so that'll give us 5.8 there, 9.3 there, and it actually creates them as values in the cell. It actually changes that value to 9.3. So I click OK, just like that. Now our second trick um, involves the same scores, but what if you actually wanted 5.8 to be 6? In that case, we're going to do a formula. So, and we're going to use the round function. If we round, if this is 5.8, and we want to round to the integer, that means we tell the round function 0 because 0 will round to the, the 1's position or and so 5.8 will become 6. Now in order to do a formula I'm going to have to create a pair of the same sized range somewhere else. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 rows, this many columns. Now I'm going to highlight all these cells in advance. I'm going to create my formula, actually and what I'll do is I'll just go like this add some borders. That way I can create my formula right here and then copy it down and over. So I'm going to go round this number times 10. And notice that's a relative cell reference, so when I copy it down and over, it'll pick up all of the right numbers. And comma, digits. If I put a 2, I always think of this as to the penny because that's two decimals to the right from uh, the decimal point. So I memorize that, and then if that's 2, that means uh, I would go backwards 1 and then 0 to get to the integer. And so now I can copy this down and then over. Right? You see, this one did not go up. It, it's the proper rounding rule. OK, now we need to replace these values over here. I'm going to copy. I'm going to click in the top left corner right click, paste special, and I'm going to say values. Now the fact that we copied a whole big range there, all you need to do is paste into this and it will replace everything. So I'm going to say values, and it replaces, it copies only those values, not the formulas. And so there you go, two different tricks for uh, grading. All right, we'll see you next trick.